first of all, hey, well, thank you. Yeah, great to have you here. Uh, fantastic uh, athlete. I've had the privilege of uh, being around Kobe for uh, many years, and uh, I have to say, beyond the obvious, that is, he is one of the world's greatest athletes. Obviously, one of the top players in the game, really ever. Uh, I will say that he is a very demanding athlete when it comes to products. Not only as an athlete, you expect a lot of himself as a player, you train harder than anybody I know, uh, which is one of those things most people don't know. People at this level, it's just not a natural gift. There's a lot of you know, hard training that goes into work, you know, into being such a great player. Uh, so it's a privilege to have athletes like uh, Kobe really challenge us because I think the process of Nike helping the athletes realize their potential really helps Nike realize their own potential as well. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I, we were just chatting on the phone the other day. First of all, I want to say that I know you, a lot of you have questions for Kobe. I'm going to allow you to you know, answer or ask some questions, I should say. Uh, before I step off, uh, I want to uh, ask Kobe a couple of questions. Um, we were just chatting the other day on the phone. And uh, you said to me unsolicited that uh, one, you're really excited about competing in Beijing, the Olympics. Absolutely. You want to talk about that a little bit? Well, you know, I think it's, um, it's first of all, it's a tremendous honor to represent your country and play with the USA basketball team. I think the challenge that we face now is to try to get USA basketball back to the top. And uh, the competition is incredible. Some remarkable basketball teams out there, remarkable, remarkable basketball players. Uh, so it feels good for me to be a part of it along with many others that go out there and try to win the goal. It's a tremendous honor. Mm -hmm. The other thing you brought up, and I didn't ask you this, but uh, unsolicited, you talked about the shoe yeah. that you're holding, the hyperdent. So what did, what did you say? What, how do you feel well, about the shoe? Well, you know, I, it's, it's, all about, it's all about performance. You know, I think the uh, thing that's most important is several things. One is the comfort of the shoe. Uh, but two is that I don't lose seconds. Because basketball is such a... It's such a reaction sport. When things happen on the dime, you have to stop and turn on the dime. And uh, I wanted a shoe that was able to, to, to if I was you know, going left and I had to you know, cut back right, I didn't want to lose seconds on that turn. Because you know, every split second counts. Um, so I wanted a shoe that, that, that fit that mold. And uh, you know, just sitting here and talking to some of the designers, talking to Avar, and giving them kind of that imagination to something that I wanted. You know, it's unbelievable because they're able to actually bring it to fruition. So like if I went to them and said, you know, I want a shoe that can make me hang in the air for five seconds, they might come back and shoot it and make me hang in the air for five seconds. <laughs> you know, so it, it, it's truly unbelievable and uh, I'm, I couldn't be happy with the way the shoe turned out. Great. Good. And I will say, Kobe's also very demanding on how the product looks. Obviously it has to perform at the highest levels, but uh, Kobe has a uh, great taste level, obviously. You see him as a player, as terms of his personal style, but he, he really cares about how the shoes look. As well, so. well, you can't be out there in a busted shoe. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't work well. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, I think to uh, finish up some of the Q&A, allow you to, to interact with Kobe here a little bit. We have Dean Story who's going to come out. I want to thank you all again. We'll see you a little bit later. Kobe, thanks again. Thank you. Yeah.